Hello, I'm Emily Mims, here to talk with you today about my latest series of books written for Burroughs Publishing, the Smoky Blue series set in the heart of Appalachia and featuring the music and the people of that region. I fell in love with Appalachia the first time I visited in 2009. My family moved, uh, my son and his wife moved there and I went to be grandma. I didn't expect it to be so pretty. I didn't expect it to be so green. I didn't expect the mountains to reach out and grab me around the heart like they did. But I have made many, many trips to Appalachia since. It continues to be one of my favorite places in the world. And when I was looking for a place to set a series of books, Appalachia called my name and said, here, write them here. My heroine of my first book, Mist, Kylie Richards, plays the dulcimer. I play the dulcimer, not as well as she does, but I play. I picked up my first dulcimer in Pigeon Forge in the summer of 2012. It was being demonstrated by the builder. It looked interesting, and with the musical background, I sat down and I found out it wasn't all that difficult to make the transition. It's the only instrument that was ever developed in the continental United States. There are two versions, the mountain dulcimer and the hammered dulcimer. I play the mountain dulcimer. I found a group in San Antonio, small group, to play the dulcimer with. And I started learning the music, the mountain music of Appalachia, the music that the settlers, the mountain people played 200 some years ago. Kylie plays this music. She also plays in a bluegrass band and she and her brother own a club called Acoustics that in Bristol, Tennessee, well Tennessee, Virginia. Bristol's an interesting little town uh, just up the road from my son and his family. The state line runs right through the middle of town. You can be standing on one side of State Street and you're in Tennessee, cross the street, and you're in Virginia. I have set acoustics in this town. Why Bristol? Why not Kingsport? Why not Knoxville? Why not Asheville? Because Bristol bills itself as the birthplace of country music because in 1927, Ralph Pierce, a New York recording mogul, brought equipment, the latest equipment to Bristol, and mountain people from all over the region flocked in, and for two and a half weeks, they made their music for him, and it was immortalized on, by Victor Records. So I have chosen Bristol as the place where they would have their, their club. As beautiful as Appalachia is and as wonderful it is, as it is, it's not immune to the problems of the world, including the problem of drugs. Kylie has come to the attention of the DEA because somebody in her club is moving drugs out of the place. And Kylie has an unexplained money account that has money feeding into it every month. So my hero, Reynolds Navarro, goes undercover at the behest of his best friend. He is a transplant to the region. He plays the music though as well as she does. And he passes himself off as a local. He makes music with Kylie and they fall in love. Kylie never dreaming for a minute that he is not who he represents himself to be. The story proceeds from there. We have love, we have betrayal, and we have a whole lot of wonderful music made in Mist. I hope you will come and get to know Kylie and Wren and all the characters that will be in my subsequent books for the Smoky Blue series.